What is going down, YouTube Niner Empire? Welcome back to another video. So, just about <clears throat> an hour ago, um, I wanted to get all the details before I released this video, but just a little bit over an hour ago, the 49ers <clears throat> were involved in a blockbuster trade that involved in that it resulted in DeForest Buckner sent to the Colts and the 49ers getting a 13th overall pick and uh, first round 13th overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft in return. So a lot of players, um, or not a lot of players, just a lot of fans are not necessarily liking this trade and are kind of saying that it's a bad trade. We got hosed, la da 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 Well, this is the thing. <clears throat> I didn't expect Eric Armstead to be paid over Buckner. I figured that the 49ers would have went in the direction of DeForest Buckner over Eric Armstead. <clears throat> Excuse me, but instead they go with Eric Armstead. And it was the complete opposite of what I thought was going to happen because I thought we were, we were either going to just let Armstead walk or tag him and keep Buckner just because we had to pay DeForest Buckner. Now, it was, just the, it was really just the complete opposite of what I thought. So the 49ers got the 13th overall pick, and the Colts get DeForest Buckner. So really over the past four years, uh, since 2016 when Buckner was drafted, 7th overall pick, um, he was a very dual, he was a very he was like he was a bulldozer man he was a very productive player um, he was pr he was productive even when we weren't really weren't that good back in 2016 and 2017 obviously 2018 he was a really productive year or a player over those past seasons and then just this past year he uh, helped you know guys on the defensive line get to the quarterback and he was the reason our defensive line was as good as it was, just like I said about Eric Armstead. So really what this came down to and was was really the final straw because what has been reported is that the 49ers were trying to get a deal done to get DeForest Buckner out for several weeks. This wasn't just a one- to two-day thing. This wasn't just an overnight thing. They were working to try and deal DeForest Buckner for several weeks. So that, that's what we do know. Number two. The 49ers cannot pay Eric Armstead, DeForest Buckner, and George Kittle big contracts. They, they would not be able to afford it with the money and the, with, with the cap penalty that they're at. That's another reason. Three, Buckner wanted Aaron Donald like money, which is like $21 million a year plus. The 49ers could have not did that. And really, and, and the 49ers really felt as if that he wasn't really worth 21 million a year. That's number three. Number four, when it comes down to it, DeForest Buckner's production, how am I going to put this? DeForest Buckner's production was really, really good. And I'm not taking anything away from his production. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, when you have when you when when your defensive line is as good as it is, you cannot pay all those guys. It's just how it works. And obviously, with Kittle being the best tight end in the game, he's going to blow the tight end market. He's going to blow the lid off of it. Um, so it's just it really came down to the the Forrest Buckner wanting more money than the 49ers think he thought he was worth, and really that the 49ers couldn't afford what he wanted. So that's really what it came down to. And ultimately, he was traded to the Indianapolis Colts. My hometown team, not my favorite team, I'm a Niners fan, but where I live, Indianapolis, he was trying to the Colts. So um, Colts fans definitely got a stud for years and years to come. Um, but really, in all reality, I think this was a really good trade because the 49ers can turn that 13th overall pick into a C.D. Lamb, a Jerry Judy, a Henry Rugg. So there's, there's studs in the draft we can go after with the 13th overall pick. And not only that, but we could even trade for a star player now that we have two first-round picks. So it's good that the 49ers have picks now and, and they saved money in cap. But now it just really comes down to the 49ers nailing the 13th overall pick and getting a stud for years and years to come at a low cost. Because that's what, it's, that's what really is seemingly going to happen, is that the 49ers could draft a C.D. Lamb, a Jerry Judy, or a Henry Ruggs. Whoever falls, one of the three will be a 49er, I guarantee it, if the 49ers keep the 13th overall pick and don't trade it away. But a lot of people think DeForest Buckner is such a big of a loss that it's almost necessary to draft another defensive tackle at the 13th overall pick. I get what they're saying, but 
DJ Jones, there's guys emerging that are young with the 49ers, and we've seen it last year with, with kind of the rotation the 49ers have with the defensive line. <laughs> we've seen it last year and we've seen it the year before with that constant rotation of defensive linemen. So there's guys out there like DJ Jones and, and Sheldon Day and people that can fill Buckner's place. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, Kentavious Street, he's, he's going to be coming back. But there's a lot of de- – uh, there was another defensive lineman that got hurt, I think. Julian Taylor was one. Maybe he wasn't one. Ronald Blair tore his ACL. He was, he was a really good player this season for the Niners. So <clears throat> it's, it's going to be hard to replace DeForest Buckner because of how dominant his presence was. But at the end of the day, the 49ers have two first-round picks, and they're sitting on a very good cap penalty right now considering what they got back <clears throat> um, from DeForest Buckner and the trade that went down. So for, as for Buckner, um, he was a stud player. It sucks to see him go. He was one of my favorite players. But at the end of the day, I mean, it makes sense, and you can't blame the Niners for what they did considering the position they were in with, you know, that with the draft and, and with the cap penalty. They needed something to get them back um, and get them kind of sitting well in, in the first round and, and sitting well in the cap. So it makes sense. It sucks to see Buckner go. He was a dominant presence. He's, a not, he's an absolute monster. The Colts are getting in monsters. They're going to definitely benefit off of Buckner. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the only thing that's really keeping this, like, compelled is that we have a shot at getting C.D. Lamb, Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy – in the draft. Those are top prospects, top wide receiver prospects to pair with Debo Samuel and our young core uh, at the receiver position. So it sucks to see Buckner go, but it's I can understand why it happened. And it's not the end of the world. Um, we're still going to be a really good defense. And um, we still got young guys that can emerge and fill Buckner's shoes. But it's going to be hard. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be easy to fill Buckner's shoes. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Buckner's traded to the Colts. 49ers get a first-round pick, 13th overall in return. And, um, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Buckner, thanks for the memories. Tear it up in Indy, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.